Welcome, welcome to the F3 podcast where we discuss all things that pertain to faith, family, and finances. We are your host today. I am the lowly, <laughs> but humble. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can change anybody. <laughs> I am Dr. Lionel and Blair Sr., and I'm sitting next to the grand, the most holy, her oh, eminence goodness. herself. Amen. My beautiful wife. All right now. Glory to God. Amen. I love to lay hands on her. Bless God. All right now. We Amen. Try not to have to make this episode explicit. <laughs> Amen. Dr. Jasmine Blair. Remember, y'all, no subject is off limits here. Listen, welcome everybody to the F3 podcast. Shout out to all of our viewers and followers that have been supporting us all yes, this thank time. You. We definitely thank appreciate you. the love that you've been showing. If you're new here, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we premiere a new episode. Be sure to take us with you on the go. You can find us where your favorite podcast episodes are streamed. Turn your attention over to the description box and the show notes. We got some links there for how you can stay connected to us on other platforms, yes. more about our other products and services. And you can find out more about how you can become an avid supporter of the podcast and partner with us. And if you've got a show topic or a question, you can drop us a voicemail and your topic can be the topic of the next episode. Because remember, we'll talk about what your pastor won't talk about. So speaking of which, we're going to get into today's topic. You know, by the time you guys see this episode, you know, the, the new movie will be out, you know, for the next Black Panther. And already we've got people all upset. Oh, you know, you've got prophets you know, all on oh, well, I, I I've seen the preview and it's it's full of African dysphoria and and, and, and witchcraft, witchcraft and guard your hearts and guard your eye gates and uh, understand what I'm saying. I'm not making fun of the prophets, but my issue is y'all was taking y'all whole churches to the theater. Come on, you I I saw prophets. You know, we're buying out the theater. You taking 20, Pastors. 30, 40, 50 people, pastors going, preaching about it, dressed up. Dressed up. Wakanda Sunday. It went from being such an advancement for the black community Come and on. for black lives to witchcraft and we need to guard ourselves. So we're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about witchcraft and movies and secular entertainment. And we're going to get into the different dynamics. So I'm sure you can imagine when I first saw this, I was... I was in a place like, okay, wait a minute. Everybody, I mean, that movie, I remember when we first saw the first Black Panther, right? Mm -hmm. The theater was so, like, this was a big theater. They had, like, I'm going to say they had 18 theaters. Okay, six of the 18 theaters were showing this movie. Mm -hmm. And they were showing the movie from 10 o'clock in the morning to, like, 10 o'clock at night. It was a big deal. In, in, in six of these theaters. Like, this movie was number one, like, forever. I didn't really look up the stats this time. But it was it was for a long time. Everybody I know saw this movie at least two, three times. So they made a bunch of money. They were talking about the advancement, the representation, right? You know, representing Black people and giving little kids hope and, and giving them a hero. Now, all of a sudden, it's full of witchcraft. So I'm trying to figure out what changed because... Outside of you know the loss of the main actor, you know Chad Chadwick Boseman, the the movie is the same. Yeah, it's it's the same plot. It's the same story. We just we're picking up at a different space. So why is this movie full of witchcraft all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna kick it over to you because we have our preference of what witchcraft we want to partake of. Woo. That's right, I said it. Mm -hmm. Because, because see, for, first of all, it's witchcraft all around. I had to sip on that one. <laughs> there's witchcraft all around. There's witch. There's symbolism all around us. All we around. We cannot escape it. All right. The back of your chair is the the, the tip of it. Most mo, most of your chairs is shaped like a triangle. Okay, triangles in the shape of the pyramid. Okay, and of course we we associate that with Egyptian mythology and mysticism. OK, mm -hmm. so 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 like, you know, uh, uh, a lot of y'all with uh, a lot of y'all with a star David mm. and that's used in witchcraft practices. OK. Uh, 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 a matter of fact, what they call a call the star David is technically also called the seal of Solomon. Mm. I ain't going to get into that right now. 
Um, but there's a lot of symbols. Okay, there's a lot of symbols. A lot of a, a lot of the companies that you use uh, have um, uh, occultic symbols. Okay, how many love Apple? I love Apple products. Okay, guess what? That half that that that, that old bit into Apple, that old emblem, is considered an occult symbol. And don't stop you from buying Apple on the little app store thing. Yeah, yeah. Google, Google. You know, got the got the got the all seeing. Listen, you can't escape certain things. It's just there, okay? It, it, it's just there. You know, a uh, uh, Freemasons were responsible for the 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 architectural design of Washington D.C. Oh yeah. Okay, you see pentagrams and. All kinds of stuff, you know. Uh, uh, so, so do we not? Do you not live in D.C. because of that? Like, come on. <laughs> you probably got somebody that don't yeah. hide in a little cave somewhere. You know. You know. My, my Off thing the is this: of colonial. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to be paranoid about every little thing that's witchcraft. And, and, and see, this 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 brings me to another problem we mm -hmm. have: the witchcraft paranoia in the church. That everything, everything is witchcraft. But see, but see, if you begin to study like we do, okay, mm -hmm. like we do, you begin to discover that a lot of the new agers and all these other people they stole our stuff. Now I want you to pause right there because I want to jump back real quick yeah. to what you were saying about the witchcraft paranoia in the church. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with that because that's the root of this issue. And this is why all of this, how you know that it's a paranoia and it's not based on discernment, right? Right. right. Okay. New Black Panther movie is getting ready to come out. Like I said, by the time you guys see this, it will be the day after the opening day. So the movie's already out. So by now, y'all social media is probably going to be flooded with, with scenes and, oh, my spirit was bothered and guard you. By the time y'all see this, people are already going to be all upset. It's going to be all over the place. But this is how you know it's a paranoia. Where was all this discernment in the, the checking your spirit on the first one? Right. Right. Why are you all of a sudden, your spirit is disturbed and grieved when the second one comes out? Right? It's crazy. Why all of a sudden you all upset and bothered and uncomfortable and you're cautioning people? The Lord would have told you this before. This. Matter of fact, the Lord would have told you this way before they even confirmed the budget for the second movie right you you would have got a troubling in your spirit then and you would have been able to actually release some kind of warning it's a paranoia and see the paranoia is rooted in ignorance and we're gonna get into what you were saying and getting ready to say in a minute about study but the paranoia is rooted in the ignorance that we as leaders in the church most of us are responsible for perpetuating the ignorance behind witchcraft paranoia. How are we at fault? Because anything that seems spiritual or anything that has some type of spiritual roots or spiritual connotation or could be viewed as such, we caution people is witchcraft. Don't touch it. That ain't God. It's strange fire, right? We twist the word to try to demonize what we don't understand. It's strange fire and stay away from it right so we see people with paint on their face we see people with some kind of skirt always oh, witchcraft is strange fire stay away from it mm -hmm. it's crazy it's, it, it doesn't make any sense but see then when you watch some of these other movies let's say you know you've got movies where somebody's playing like an old man Right. They use that same makeup to put a fake chin on, fake beard on. Come on come you see on. what I'm saying? Nose, little mole. Or if somebody is playing a disabled person, they're using a lot of this same makeup. Mm -hmm. But it's witchcraft in this scene, but it's not. It's, it, it came from the same place. Same place. So we, we don't seek to understand. We seek to demonize stuff because it has a look to it and we don't seek to really understand the root of stuff and why are we perpetuating a a ignorance and this is going to go right into what you were saying because we pick and choose what we want to call witchcraft half of y'all sitting here calling this movie witchcraft y'all just had this trunk or treat y'all just had these little hallelujah, hallelujah nights, nights. <laughs> right 
And y'all done already started putting y'all Christmas trees up because it's all over Facebook. Y'all putting your Christmas tree up. Y'all going to take about three days to observe Thanksgiving, and then you're going to keep doing your Christmas. So you done already started putting all these decorations, all pagan decorations all around your house. That's okay. Your Christmas tree is just as, is, is just as pagan, if not more <laughs> pagan than Black Panther. I said it. I said it. Do your research. That's the problem. Y'all don't study. Well, it's a celebrate Jesus. <clears throat> Just because you insert Jesus in there don't mean that it was originally a Jesus thing. It's a whole lot of stuff y'all try to insert Jesus in. Um, but you know, let's add so let's add to that, right? Uh -huh. So you know, you people try to skate by with Thanksgiving. Well, you know, it's nothing, nothing uh pagan about being thankful. You're oh, supposed Jesus to be thankful Christ. every day. Okay, but Thanksgiving was not this nice little story that they told us in school. No, and, you know, you you, you get all cute and make this little stuff and you have to class the pilgrims and have to class the Indians. No, they were slaughtering indigenous people. Yeah, yeah. That's they, not something that we should be celebrating. They gained their trust and then slaughtered them. And gave them diseases that killed a lot of them. Yeah. And for a lot that are still alive, they'd have tried to pay them off. But well, well, if we can be thankful. Okay, so then let, let's go right over to, to Easter, right? Ishtar. How how you gonna have all these little eggs somewhere and we gonna insert Jesus did not come from a little hatchling from an egg somewhere. And bunnies don't <laughs> lay eggs. Y'all stop with that foolishness. You know, when I was little, shoot, we we when we celebrated Easter, I didn't I thought bunnies laid eggs uh, because they, they always had the bunny, uh, so they always had the eggs associated with the bunnies. Yeah, when I was in, in, I think I was in first grade, you know, the class pet was a little, was a rabbit. So we, uh, they, they're mammals. They don't have these little eggs and just, just had these little hatchlings. And, you know, a lot of that stuff, the, the, the egg, which represents fertility rights and mm -hmm. things like that, uh, all, all that stuff have pagan origins, but y'all still do them. All right. So, so when it comes to Black Panther, I don't want to hear nothing about Black Panther as long as you <laughs> celebrate Easter, <laughs> Christmas, and Thanksgiving. See, most people be all right. They'll be with you uh, up until that Christmas. You touch that Christmas, boy, they get all upset. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm celebrating Jesus' birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. What that tree, again, a mammal, a human being, what that tree got to do with him? The Bible describes... <laughs> The Bible describes the settings and and what the what the shepherds were doing with the sheep and all that other stuff during around the time of Jesus' birth. Right, right. And and if you really study shepherding and, and, and all of that stuff, you realize that they don't do that in December. They do that around Septemberish. Yeah, they do that around September. Yeah, so 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 yeah, uh, uh, you know, Jesus was not born. On no December twenty. Some people say September is. You got the Orthodox that, that celebrate and observe his birth in January. But we can all agree, no matter what what is being said, we all know it. It won't September. It won't December twenty fifth. Right. That much we do know. Right. It's it's a pagan holiday, and this this is why people have to understand history. If you do just a little bit of research, you don't even have to really really research. But if you do just a little bit of research, you'll understand. That this was already a pagan festival around this time. Come on. So, you know, when we talk about politics and power play moves, Constantine said, hmm, we're trying to get the little people to, to convert over to the, the new, I've made Christianity the religion now, mm -hmm. but I've given them the freedom to do what they want. So they've already got this festival. So if we insert the birth of jesus during the time that they celebrating anyway they'll put up less of a fight and go ahead and convert because they're used to celebrating anyway long as they get to celebrate long as the markets are closed long as they get to drink and be merry they'll go for it mm -hmm. and of course that's the modern short explanation this is how we start getting these these observances of Christ and these observances of Christianity centered around the same time that they've already had these pagan festivals and observances. It has nothing mm -hmm. to do with Christ. Go ahead. They took a lot of different beliefs, mm -hmm. Christianized them, give them Christian names and all the other stuff, 
and and and, and brought it un, under one melting pot and called it Christianity. Mm -hmm. You notice, you know, you know, after Constantine, the church began to decline in power. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it grew, grew in influence, but it began, began to decline in power, began That's to true. decline in morality. Okay, because see, now you have all these different pagan beliefs and people still struggling probably with their fertility rights and stuff like that. So now you got a bunch of fornicators and prostitutes still by trying to be Christians. And, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's a lot of stuff. So y'all hollering about Black Panther well, you need to study the history of our Christianity, mm -hmm. and we need to go, we need to go back to the faith that was once delivered to the saints, and actually build upon that, not upon what we inherited from the transatlantic slave trade. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, because of that version of Christianity, um, uh, uh, is is corrupt in many different ways. Okay, we can still see the effects thereof in the churches today, whether you black or white. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's let's go back to this this witchcraft and yes. what I because see it's the Johnny come lately prophecies that we have to stop. This is the second movie, and all of a sudden you're trying to give these warnings. Where was the warnings before this movie made the first one made all these millions of dollars in the box office? Right. You know another movie they did that with Doctor Strange. Oh yeah. Everybody loved the first one. It was and then, prophetic. The first one was prophetic. And we wait till the second rendition. All of a sudden, it's it's full of witchcraft. He's he's the master of the mystic arts, which he, he, he was tells in, you in the first one, right? He tells you that. So 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 uh, uh, you know you know when it comes to the mystical, when it comes to the supernatural, when it comes to uh, certain expressions of divination and all that stuff in movies. Okay, like you, some of y'all sit under that every Sunday morning. Ooh. You know, um, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, and um, you, you know, again, like I said, I ain't gonna get too deep into this. Uh, this is another podcast, but a lot of this stuff they stole from us. Mm -hmm. A lot of this stuff they stole from us. So, 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 if you want to complain about Black Panther, okay, uh, you need to research your Christianity. All right. Uh, 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 how come? How come? Um, how come the 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 body of Christ is is, is not making movies? Mm. Don't complain about something you ain't willing to uh, put your effort in and 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 try to replace it to do. You know why? Because they cheat and they don't understand why a movie needs a two, three, four, five million dollar budget to actually be yeah. worth its salt. That's why. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, you can start telling God stories with the creative edge. Uh, can you imagine, you know, making a movie about the fall of Lucifer, how he got kicked out of heaven and all the stuff that went on with that? Can if they imagine? took an Avengers budget and put that on a movie like that, oh yeah, it'd be that, one. that would be amazing. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you got to have all that makeup and all the special effects. Yeah. But see, we don't want to invest that kind of money. We just want to point to everything and say it's witchcraft and not God. We, we're identifying what we feel is a problem, but we're not positioning ourselves to be a part of the solution. That's and that's right. really what it is. That's right. So, so for all y'all who got a problem with the new Black Panther, you, you, you want to know what I say to you? Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. <laughs> cause I could, cause I am going to go see it. I am going to go see Wakanda forever. Yes, I am. We're going to spend our hard-earned money to go get those movie tickets to go see it. <laughs> yes, I am. And when I'm there, I'm going to get some popcorn. You had it. Uh, I'm going to get some popcorn. Then I'm going to immerse it in that movie theater butter, get a little pinch of salt and just rub it in there. Okay, probably get me a Sprite or something, okay? And then I'm going to sit in there and uh, and watch and enjoy the movie, okay? And I probably can get all kinds of revelation out of it. You're like y'all got revelation out of Doctor Strange, the first one, and then all of a sudden, the second one is 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 full of witchcraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah. could, y'all could, y'all religious folk can miss me with that. You know, y'all y'all can y'all can miss me with that. Y'all y'all got the most to say, but do the least. I, but see, isn't it funny how? And there's another movie that's out right now. I don't know if you saw everybody crying over this movie called Made from Scratch or something like nah. that. Anyway, all the women was, oh my God, I cried. And I didn't watch the movie. I watched the previews. And so I'm looking at the previews 
And I'm just like, okay, so we'll call a movie like this full of witchcraft, but we don't see the toxic family traits and something like that. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give away the movie, but it's it's a love story about two people from different lives, different parts of the world. They fall in love. Obviously that comes with its own challenges. So it's this a whole thing. And you know, if you, you like them kind of movies, you probably will cry, but I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a sad story, but I'm looking at the toxicity of the family members and I'm like, okay, we could say this movie's full of witchcraft, but we don't want to holler about the toxic family that's in this movie because the ending was sweet and the ending made you cry and pulled on your, your emotions. We just bypassed the toxicity of the family in the right. movie, right? right? So what are we really, and again, I understand movies are for entertainment, things like this. Some things are based on true stories. Some things are you know, made up or whatever, based on comics or whatever. But why is it that we we I didn't we cannot call something witchcraft after we done seen the first part of it and it was fine, but we can't identify something more obvious like toxic family members in a movie. Because again, we have biases. You know, we have biases of what we choose to recognize or not. Um, um, you know, we 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 nitpick, mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of times it's personal issues too. Mm -hmm. So if we have issues, and if we're merciful towards some kind of dysfunction, yeah. then then uh, we're not going to really recognize or acknowledge it in a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you're merciful towards a dysfunction, that's why you know, for example, you know, people who are uh, leaders who are LGBTQ affirming. Um, I'm not talking about loving on them and embracing them and accepting. I'm talking about affirming, affirming that this is how you are and it's okay. You know, they don't have a problem with some of that stuff that's in these movies. Mm -hmm. They don't have a problem with scenes that's in the movie. They don't have a problem with that. Uh, matter of fact, they don't even they don't, they don't even address the issue live or abroad. Mm -hmm. You know, so 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 it's all about what a person is, um, what a person ch choose to be merciful towards. Exactly. You know, so 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 you know, uh, you know, it, it, it's you know, and it's the same thing, you know, with the with the with the Black Panther thing. You know, you pick and choose your witchcraft. Yeah. Cause, cause most y'all, most of the people that's always talking about Jezebel, which, which is this and which is that, and Jezebel, and they have and all this other stuff. Most of the people that scream that stuff on mm -hmm. a consistent basis, they're full of it. Absolutely, they're full of it. They're just channeling it differently. Okay, but you, if I always see that, that you know, you know, you you talk about Jezebel this, Jezebel that, then you always want to call folk out and. You all want to bash folk all the time and stuff like that. No, you are preaching against yourself. You're the Jezebel. And it's like that show Scandal. Remember that show Scandal? All the church folks was watching yeah. and you missing know, Bible study. And yeah, they miss a Bible study to watch the lady sleep with the president and the man was married. And you know, we could argue the same argument with that. Well, it's just entertainment, and it's you know, it's just okay, but you're constantly feeding yourself this message of infidelity, saying it's just entertainment every week. What is the difference between you you indulging in this show scandal that's about something that's clearly laid out in the Bible that nobody should be doing mm -hmm. versus watching this movie now and you say, Oh, well, it's witchcraft. How do you justify infidelity being entertainment? But all of a sudden, this is witchcraft, people should stay, stay away from. It. See, this is the stupidity of why we're at fault for a lot of this passage because then this is what people are here. It's okay to watch a show full of a bunch of uh illicit unmarried sex and somebody cheating, but we can't watch a movie with some people dancing and hopping around with some dots on their face because it's full of witchcraft. What, what kind of sense does that make? So where is the line between, it's like the other episode, where's the line between what's considered entertainment and what's not okay? Mm -hmm. So infidelity can be entertainment, but a bunch of people hopping around with, with gauges in their ears and dots on their face can't be entertainment. And see, there's a difference between what's cultural, though, and what's actually witchcraft. Right, because most of us, when I say most of us, I'm talking about in the United States, we're not of a culture uh, that we know of, that we are uh, in tune with to understand those things. It's a whole lot, to, to me, in my opinion, it's a whole lot easier for somebody to watch a show that is 
infused with affairs and infidelity and to take on those ways because we have more of an understanding and a connection to it versus a bunch of people hopping around with some dots on. Right. And I don't say it to be culturally disrespectful, but most of us did not grow up with an understanding of that. Right. So how do you choose what's entertainment and what's not? How do you publicly say, okay, scandal's okay. Black Panther 2 is full of witchcraft and it's the devil and nobody needs to watch it. How do you do that? Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Yeah, for real, for real, because see, I'm going to tell you something. In, in scripture, <laughs> there's a thin line. There's a, there's a very thin line between witchcraft and and um, and the power of God. I don't think people read that part about when Moses was going down asking for Pharaoh to let his people go and how when they challenged him and his staff became a serpent and then ate the other serpents. Yeah. Pe- people don't read. We just kind of skim past that part. Yeah. Yeah. Moses, Mo- that, that was, he, he kept up with them. That was, that was, that was, that was a, see, I, I don't know if I should get into this up here, but that, that was a, that was a spiritual art that he learned in the in in the mystic school coming up in Pharaoh's house mm-hmm. because he you you don't understand he grew up in Pharaoh's house mm-hmm. so he was being raised to be a prince mm. so they had levels of learning that the common people didn't have you understand what I'm saying so he had to learn the sciences of Egypt just how uh, Daniel had to learn the sciences of Babylon yeah that's why you know the the the, the Bible says that David was among the astrologers. You understand? Mm-hmm. He knew what they knew, and, and 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 with God on his side, he was able to outdo them. You understand what I'm saying? So, so um, you know, dream interpretation was 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 a spiritual art and a science. It was a spiritual art and science that you had to learn over time. Mm-hmm. You had to be trained in that. See, see, the prophets in the Bible were not ignorant men. See, 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 they, they understood deeper than what we know today. But see, they didn't let it stri- cause them to stray away from their God, like some of y'all. Y'all, y- y'all study law of attraction. Next thing you know, you leaving Jesus. You're an idiot. That part. You're an idiot. Your heart was never with him. But um, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, so, so, so when we want to talk about witchcraft mm-hmm. for real, for real, like some, so some, some of the men of God in scripture did divination. They did certain divination. Did matter of fact, did you know casting lots was divination? I didn't know that. I discovered that recently. Casting lots was a form of divination. Okay. You casted lots to see who was going to take Judas place. Yeah, they did it from the <laughs> Old Testament to the New Testament. That was a form of divination, but that was the one of the ways that God spoke and confirmed His word. You know, the same thing with the stones, the stones, the the, the, the Urim and the Thummim. Yeah. That was a form of divination. Okay. So there was there, there was an art that God approved and, and an art that God did not approve. Mm. I, I know, I know. Well, we got the we got the we got the, we got the Holy Ghost today. Yes, we do. But the sciences still exist. You know. Uh, 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 the now, subject. how do you combat what you don't understand? Right. So we just stay ignorant. Uh, and again, it's not for everybody. Obviously, yeah. that's something you got to be called to. But so we just stay ignorant. How do you convert people of, from something that you're ignorant of? Right. No, people, people, are people are against astrology, but the Bible's full of it. Full of. Mm-hmm. I ain't telling mm-hmm. you. I ain't telling you to to, to go to go to go do uh, to, do do your horoscope. I don't do horoscopes. Um, I ain't telling you to go do, read your horoscopes and you know and all this other stuff. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but but who do you think created the stars? The Bible says the heavens speak, right? The Bible speaks about the heavens, talking about the stars. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if the stars were not important, then why would God name them? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Why, why would God name the stars if the stars did not play an importance in his role in creation? You understand? See, 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 this kind of stuff y'all need to be learning to get rid of this paranoia stuff. Because see, some things just serve there as to to, to eliminate excuses. 
Can't nobody ever, can't nobody in the world say that God ain't God, God ain't talking. Okay, because even when you don't have the Holy Spirit residing in you, there are other things that God used to speak to you mm -hmm. about your life, about your destiny, and all that. And but, but see, what you do is you get these practitioners who learn this stuff, but then they they steer you away from God. But you want to talk about Black Panther. Mm, mm, but but uh, Black mm. Panther is the problem. No, your ignorance is the problem. Your witchcraft paranoia is the problem. You know, you know, you know. I I know a whole lot of stuff. That don't mean I do it. That part. That don't mean I do it. But see, if you're gonna be a learned individual, you got to learn how some of this stuff works. Especially if you're gonna be training people. Right. And again, those learnings are not for everybody. You've got to know your limits. You've got to know what's for you. But. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not for anybody else. So I'm I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. I don't know when, but I'm I'm gonna see it because I know going to see a movie for for me for it's it's not gonna cause me to go run away and say Jesus ain't real the next day. It's right. it's it's just not. And because I understand the kind of people that I'm called to and the kind of audience that God has set before me, it's a conversation piece to something deeper. Yeah. Any closing remarks you got for this episode before we get out of here? When you are really mature in your soul and in your spirit, certain stuff can't penetrate that blood bought barrier. Certain things just can't penetrate. That's why the Bible tells us to mature. You know, when, when you, when you're not mature, you know, things affect you greater. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So this is why you got to build your faith, build your knowledge of the scripture in its proper context. Okay, study to show yourself approved and make sure that you're full of the spirit. Because uh, if you are, then, you know, if there is witchcraft in the, in, in, in the movie, it, it ain't going to bother you like that. Well, you're conjuring opening portals in your home. Man, listen, I am the portal of God. Uh-oh. You understand Somebody that? missed that right there. I'm the portal of God. I am a walking open heaven. In my spirit is the Ark of the Covenant. Okay, I am full of the of the I am I am full of the fullness of the Godhead bodily, like Jesus was. Why should I take that one clip right there and complain? Oh, oh, I don't care. You, you re record and loop it. As he is, so am I in the earth, baby. Hear I what am, he said. Listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. ain't God. Listen to yes, this. Yes, I am. I'm God in the flesh, baby. Okay. I am I am Jesus Christ Jr. Okay. As he is, so am I in this world. Okay. I am a son of God. I'm an heir of God. And I am a joint heir with Jesus Christ. I am a son of God after his prototype. Okay. He is my example of what to be and what not to be. Okay. You think Jesus walked around here? paranoid of witches and witchcraft and what was defiled and what wasn't defiled and uh, see all that stuff is for babies that stuff can't touch me they called him a demon when they saw him healing see. <laughs> operate this something that they won't operate then he said well satan can't cast himself out he sure ain't gonna cast himself out <laughs> so for all y'all who talk about oh some deliverance is false it's just a demon replacing another demon you a liar Scripture disproves that. Scripture disproves that. So, <laughs> so, 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 if you're mature enough, Wakanda forever. Just, 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 just go watch the movie. And if your little spirit can't take it, your soul can't stay take home. It, that's okay. That's okay. But, stay but home. don't sit there and try to rebuke the rest of us for what's not for you. That yeah. that's my thing. You, it's fine if you want to stay home. It's not fine if you want to try to guilt. And, and gaslight everybody else because they want to go see the movie. I'm gonna watch it. I watched Doctor Strange. Too. <laughs> okay, I watched Doctor Strange a couple times. Okay, and then yeah, it has some dark scenes or whatever. But like, like, like this stuff is spiritual realities. This stuff is a reality in the spirit. You know, you understand what I'm saying? And 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 you you really learn a lot about how the spirit world operates watching this stuff. You know, for real, for real. You know, because a lot of y'all understand the Bible but you don't understand the spirit world and um, your ignorance of the spirit world is why things keep happening repetitively in your life. You keep coming under the same attack. Okay. And never winning the battle. Okay. So anyway, that's, that's my two piece. 
All right. Well, listen, thanks for joining us on this episode of the F3 podcast. Listen, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Find out more about how you can become an avid supporter of the F3 podcast. So follow us over on IG at King and Queen Blair. Until next time on the F3 podcast. Goodbye.